Here we will see thread synchronization in C sharp. Data inconsistency occurs when many threads access a shared resource at a given point in a time. For example, if there are two threads T1 and T2 which are accessing a shared resource R simultaneously. If T1 is trying to read the data from the shared resource R and at the same time when other thread T2 is attempting to write data onto it, there would be a data inconsistency. To avoid this, thread synchronization is used. Thread synchronization is a mechanism that is used to disallow multiple threads from accessing a shared resource at the same point. That is, thread synchronization can help to prevent multiple threads from gaining access to the shared resource simultaneously. As a result, you can have one and only one thread enters a critical section simultaneously. Threads should be synchronized to avoid confliction to use critical resource. Otherwise, this confliction may arise when parallel running threads attempt to modify a common variable at the same time. In this technique, one thread executes the critical section of a program and other thread wait until the first thread finishes the execution. Next, we will see why we need thread synchronization. Thread synchronization helps you to achieve the following. First is atomicity. Thread synchronization supports atomicity which ensures that multiple threads in the application are not allowed to access a shared resource concurrently to prevent data inconsistency. The code segment that contains the necessary instructions for this is known as critical section. These critical sections are executed automatically by one and only one thread. And next is ordering. You might often want two or more threads to perform a task in a predictable order or to restrict access to the shared resource to a particular number of threads only. Usually you don't have much control over all this. Thread synchronization provides support for ordering the thread so that you can organize your threads to perform the task as per your plan. Next is advantages of using thread synchronization. Synchronization can be used to achieve mutual exclusion. That is, only one process or thread accesses the critical section of the program. No thread or process has an infinite waiting time using synchronization. Synchronization is an inherently fair process. All the requests are granted in a specific order for synchronization. Synchronization can be used for resources allocation as well. It makes sure that only one process or thread can use a resource at a time. Thread synchronization can be achieved with the following categories. First is simple blocking method, which contains methods sleep, join and task.wait. Then locking construct, that is exclusive lock and non-exclusive locks. Signaling constructs that is event weight handlers, monitors weight or pulse, countdown event and barrier classes. And non-blocking synchronization constructs are thread.memory barrier, thread.volatile read, thread.volatile write, the volatile keyword and the interlocked class.